Namaste. This is Sucheta from Oman Yoga. Today I am going to show you Pavan Muktasana. This is a series of movements which are meant for releasing the vata or the wind element from the body, the excess vata. Anyone who is suffering from indigestion, constipation or has um, any kind of uh, digestion issues can perform this series. This is just going to take about 7 minutes to perform. So we all can start together. Sit with back straight and legs stretched out in front of you. If you are not able to maintain straight back in this position, you can slide pillow under your hips and you can sit on the pillow or you can sit on some height. You can keep your hands closer to the hips. You can slightly lean backwards but try to maintain the straight posture of your back. Now just uh, curl your toes inwards and then squeeze them together. Curl the toes in, squeeze them together. Curl the toes inwards, separate your toes squeeze. You can inhale when you curl, exhale when you squeeze. We do it 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, 8, So this was Padamula Sanchala. Now we do Gulfa Naman. Gulfa is your ankle. Let us just extend one ankle and flex the other one. Extend one ankle, flex the other one. Let's do this. Alternate. Two, two, three, three, four, four. It's better to synchronize your breath with this. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Exhale if you want to have long breaths or you simply inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Three, three, two, two, one and one. Now let us rotate. Good for chakra, you can separate your feet a little bit and rotate your ankles. Here you can inhale with the upward movement of the ankle and exhale when it goes down. Like inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. We do it five times and five and we reverse rotate. One, two, three, four and five. Now we move on to our knees. Keep your hands closer to the hips. Pull your right heel towards your right hip. With both the hands, hold your right thigh from behind. Lift your foot up. Inhale, you straighten the leg. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Watch, I am also moving my hands. Inhale. Exhale. My elbow becomes straight when the knee is straight. Let's do 10 times. 5 done. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And leave, change side. Start. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Right? Now, you are going to keep your right 
foot on the left thigh. When you pull the right foot over the left thigh, make sure that you are really pulling it up. So your half of your foot is outside the thigh. Okay. I'm going to hold my right ankle with my right hand and I insert all my fingers of the left hand in between the toes of the right foot. All right. And then I just rotate the right ankle. I rotate it five times clockwise, five times anti-clockwise. Five times clockwise, five times anti clockwise. All right, Janu Namana again. We are going to get our right foot over the left thigh. I'm going to keep my right foot firm on the left thigh. With my right hand, I press my right knee down and release. Press it down and I release. Let it come up on its own. You don't bring it up. Just press it down and release. Press, stay for a while and release. Press and release. Ten times. Press. And release four more four three two one and change. Keep your left foot firm on the right thigh, press the knee down, release, press it down, release, keep the other leg stable and release. Press down, release. Press down, release. Press down, release. Press down, release. Three more. Three, two, one. And you relax. We are done with the lower limbs. Now you can sit in cross leg position. We move on to the arms. Hands are stretched out. You spread your fingers with inhalation. You squeeze the fingers with exhalation. Two. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Wrist. Mani Bandha is wrist. Let's do Mani Bandha Chakra or wrist rotation. One, two, three, four. Synchronize the breath. Inhale when the hands go up. Exhale down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Reverse. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Skandha chakra, skandha is shoulders. You can simply rotate the shoulders. Take them up towards the ears. Take them back when your shoulder blades come closer to each other. Down and forward. Up, back, down and forward. You can also keep your hands on the knees. Inhale when the shoulders go back. Exhale when they come forward. Four more. Four. Three, two, one. Change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. This is a skandha a chakra or shoulder movement, shoulder rotation. All right. Now, your right hand is stretched out. Your palms are facing the ceiling. 
fold the hand at the elbow joint take your fingers towards your right shoulder and extend it again exhale when you fold inhale when you open inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale this is like a bicep curl that you do, do in your gym right last four three two and one change ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one so this ends the first series of pavan muktasan please do practice you can include this as a part of your warm up for any exercise that you may be doing this will definitely help you um, get rid of a lot of your issues related to indigestion remember practice and patience